There's a lot of that out here, my man. Wait, where are you going? You're on your own, kid! Everyone takes their own road across the cosmic extraordinary. You're looking for the lung! The cosmic lung! What's that? It's home, baby! It's home! If it isn't a fluffy little piece of space dust. What a strange sound to you. Whoa. I'm a wonder. Make no mistake. Are you God? Darling, you are divine. I am not. You know, I did see her once, from a distance. What was it like? She was playing pinball. No way. Way. All the greats are obsessed with pinball. The only reason we created the universe. What do you call yourself? Out here? I'm not sure. I'm dabbling with the idea of becoming someone else entirely. My name... It's complicated. In this place, you are the namer of names. But choose wisely. Names can get carried away. What? How do you mean? They wander off. Begin, Begin to breathe. Before you know it, they're on books and banners. Scrawling themselves over manifestos. A name, once weightless, suddenly burdened with the weight of empires. What will you name yourself? And where you headed? The 
cosmic one. Really? You're touring with Lightman? Mm -hmm. Well, if you say so. Zom, what happened? Where am I? You're aboard the Cosmic Lung, our vessel across the extraordinary. What does that mean? Francis, does your species gather in caravans of aimless, cacophonous, debauch- You mean like a cruise ship? <laughs> that sounds familiar. Why don't you have an explore, hmm? Feel things out. May I offer some advice, human? Okay. Don't lose your head. I'll keep that in mind. Like some far out Hendrix album cover. This is so far out. What's up there, lad? I'm just trying to keep my head. Huh. A sensible thing, too. Rather important, one said. No way! There's a whole damn theater in here! Where to? We feel like pulling some shape. <laughs> exist outside the realm of age. Not here, you don't. 
Look, if it's glam glam juice you want, try downstairs. We don't really cater to kids here. Zom, this is so gonzo. You're like an intelligence from another world. I can only surmise you're enraptured with a sense of wonderment, majesty, a certain je ne sais quoi. I guess so. What do you do here? You work on the lawn? I am Lightman's first mate. I see to his affairs, anticipate needs, acquire the impossible. Did you walk through the Austrian Opera House? I stole that. You stole a whole theater? An opera house, yes. There's so many in Vienna, it's easy to dash away with one. I left a paper mache replica in its place. He's never played a show. He's never even left Colorado. You're gonna fry his brain. Oh, I think there's a little magic in him. There has to be. He thought he was a folk musician this afternoon. Where are you sending him? Uh, the Heliotrons. Oh, of course the Heliotrons. You are pathetic. Sorry, what's the Heliotrons? Ah, Francis! I knew you'd probably make it. The Heliotroms, well, it's somewhat of a monument to me. Paid for by you. The whimsical beginnings of my 51 Universal Tour. The tour where I would successfully jam with the Glamourcon. Wow. What's a glamour gone? This is bogus. Mark, seriously, he's gonna get vaporized. My name is Lightman. Recalibrate holograms for the kid. This is on you. Now, curtains are approaching. Any questions? What's the Heliotrom's uh, venue? More of the whole dimension. Their denizens socially resemble the actor hunter gatherers of the Philippines. Now, their wealth and standing is determined by the brilliance of their stories. They trade in stories. Oh man, they feed on them. What kind of show is this? Don't know if there's an earthly comparison, young blood. When creatures buy a ticket to the Cosmic Lung, they're guaranteed a spectacle of unique entertainment. And that's us. Well, it ain't you yet. We venture out into wild dimensions. Shred on the edge of cliff slide into amphitheaters. Raise the foundations of reality itself. Then it's all broadcast into the theater. Live, baby, live. Live? Cool. Visit Violetta, she'll get you tuned in. Wait, is there anything else I sh I oh, 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 okay. Where to? Whoa. No 
one is going to believe this. Can I check your coat? We are a professional, exceptionally discreet service. You honestly look like you're selling the coats. I'm afraid we're close. Every time I fall asleep, I wake up on the outside of my room. Where to? My guitar. Violetta, you gotta get me out of this. Don't look at me while I work. Oh, sorry. I'm not looking. What were you thinking, coming out here? This is your fault. I had no idea what I was signing up for. Hey, I didn't want you for the show. White men did. And only because there's no one left. I gotta get back to Calypso. For your big show? Oh, crap. I forgot about the show. Listen, Francis. This place, the lung, we put on three shows every tour. That's the contract. No shows, no contract, and no clearance to the next station. You don't play, you don't get home. I think I'm gonna hurl. Really connected successfully. We're done. Anything else? What do you do here? The passengers think I'm in maintenance. They can't know otherwise. Know what? That I run this ship. And that I am, without question, the greatest laser artist in the galaxy. Are you serious? That is so far out. This was a mistake. I'm a folk musician. That's who I've always been. Whatever you say. I mean, who am I kidding? I can't be seen dancing about as some star man. I'll be laughed out of town. Well, wish me luck. Pay no attention to me. Okay, quickly now. I'm gonna be broadcast to all these people. They'll play your pish posh in the disco. But no one in Calypso can see the broadcast, right? They couldn't accidentally tune in? Come on, man, follow me. This isn't a traditional performance. See, there's no stage. 
Well, there is. The landscape is the stage. But there's also stages. You feel me? Not really. What should I play? I've got this folky ballad about the toil of a miner's life. Oh, no, no, no. Please don't do that. You wear folk like a cheap suit, young lud. You're something else entirely. No time to gab, you're on! Violetta, this is impossible. Where am I? You're in the far reaches of the cosmos now, kiddo. Jeez. And you want me to just dance out into it? That's right. Sparkle in your eye, candy in your heels. What am I supposed to do? Head east, into the foothills. You're looking for a creature called Star Gordon. He'll help you find your way back to the lung. You'll need to book through his agent. His agent? It's on Holiday Street, I think. Is this gonna be dangerous? Oh, yeah. I don't even come out here. Metal. Let me ask you this. When you're shredding that sci-fi guitar nonsense, who are you? The captain of my soul. Then that's who you must become. Violetta! Damn it!
1927, on the outer reaches of occupied space, a child was found adrift in a photon beam. His rescuers named him Lightman. By the time he was 12, many considered Lightman to be the greatest musician alive. In 1952, Lightman began his legendary Gold Weaver tour. The tour would culminate with a performance unlike any other, a duet with the Glamour Gong. It was to be the greatest performance in history of the universe. Amagon resides in the Hyperion Whale Zone. All are welcome to enter the Whale Zone, but only those who entertain the Glamagon are permitted to leave. For many, it is a one-way trip. Risking his life and that of his crew, Lightman arrived at the Whale Zone in August of 53. Little is known of the Glamagon's biology. It is described as a vision so brilliant that many creatures remain transfixed and watch it until they perish. Understandably, Glamagons are very hard to impress. of Lightning and the Glamagon survived the performance. Their duet was heard across dimensions and cemented Lightning's place as one of humankind's seminal artists. turn, Lightman was granted command of the Cosmic Lung. The Lung is an entertainment vessel with a rich history, a stepping stone for many legendary artists.
in the right direction. Grollum, talent, and flair. This must be the place. I didn't know you could talk. Oh, I resisted it as long as I could. Hmm. You have the bearing of a creature in the instinctual throes of some vast cosmic migration. Yeah. Wow. I guess I am. Does migration always go there and back? Or can it be one way? It can be one way. Why? Not planning a return trip? Not as myself, no. Listen, I'm trying to make an appointment with Star Gordon. Really? You'd better go straight through. I'd like to make an appointment. Dreadful. Huh? What is? That was the entrance of a busker, not a crossfire hurricane. It's a damn monstrosity. Look at the size of it. Ugh. An entrance, literal or metaphysical, cannot be undone, Francis. Right. First impressions. Still testing this holographic stage out. Personal project of mine. I'll let you take it for a test drive. You lucky duck.
for such an insignificant creature. You're too kind. And, of course, you're looking for representation. No. I'm trying to make an appointment with Star Gordon. <laughs> Star Gordon? Absolutely sure. Well, I need to get back to the Cosmic Lung. Mm, I can understand that. But is it worth the risk? What? What does that mean? Hey, all be it for me to argue. I'm sure he'll be happy for the work. I is what worth the risk? His den is on the other side of Disco Worm Ridge. Oh, it's gonna be a hell of a ride, human. I'd bet my hump on it. Gordons. The trip of a lifetime. Keep your limbs inside the cart at all times. Just sing to power your journey. I won't be singing. Never suited me. Can I play a holographic guitar? You're welcome to try that sort of thing.
long time since a little fly buzzed in here. I'm looking for Star Gordon. <laughs> Well, this is Star Gordon's, isn't it? Isn't it? I think so. You, friend of Lightman's? Yeah, I am the exceptional. I'm trying to get back to the cosmic lung. Ah, that's so. You got the makings of a story in you. I can smell it. Sometimes I feel like it's already been written for me. Who I am, where I should be going. Ah, but where you're from, that's what interests me. Why don't we go on a trip together, hmm? You can tell me all about it. Yeah, cool. Where are we going? Oh, to the stars. Tell me of your home planet. Welcome back, Night Owls. Our last guest for all eternity is the exceptional... <laughs> an entertainer from beyond our naive concepts of reality. Welcome. Truly, a pleasure. <laughs> Isn't it? You're from the Cosmic Extraordinary, correct? That's correct, yes. Tell me about it. Um, sure. It occupies a time rift where nothing is ever where you left it. It must have been hard to tell up from down. It took me a while to find myself, as you can imagine. It's hard, even with standard orientations. It's impossible to find any sense of self in a reality of constant tidal change. There's no anchor, nothing to hold on to. A common mistake. You gotta learn to go with the flow. Conquests seem outlandish, unbelievable in some cases. What would you say is your greatest achievement? Leading the space convoy of the infinitely loud Galactic Symphony. That must have been a great honor.
I have never known such power. It was intoxicating. Almost dangerously so. Oh, what I wouldn't give to see a show like that. To get out of the house for a night. To drown out the voices just for a while. There's been much made about your escape from the planet. How did it happen? Through a portal on the inside of a giant's eye. A giant? What style? A beast, snout in the clouds, volcanoes for hands. An eye like the dome of the Hollywood Bowl. Uh-huh, how did you bring it down? A guitar solo that punched a hole in the sky. Oh. You'll have to teach me the riff. <laughs> it's a dizzying tale. I wonder what kind of creature would be born from these strange circumstances. What would they dream? Love. Fear. What scares you? What scares me? Uh, hello? Where would I begin? To go through life quietly and fade away. You feel compelled to be a creature of special significance. Don't we all feel like that? We all want to be something extraordinary. How high do you aim, you know? Ambition is a hungry, salivating, complex creature. Though, if you don't mind me saying, these sound like the worries of a terrestrial teenage boy. Huh? Oh, <laughs> that's not true. Hmm, the dreary doldrums of a humanoid. Without grief or grandeur? No, totally untrue. You're lying to our live studio audience, aren't you? They seem affable, I know, but they're ravenous. <laughs> they're, uh, what? We're all hungry for blood out here. Once Lightman knew we planned to eat him, he never came back. What? But that's all we've got time for, I'm afraid. You have been a delight. Yeah, pleasure to be here. Yes, but we're not really here, are we? Excuse me? Not really anywhere at all. <gasps> Hello? Star Gordon? <laughs> Lost your head in there, little hen. Oh, I thought you were going to shoot the coop. Sorry. Yeah. I kind of forgot where I was, what I was doing. That happened a lot. Yeah. It's kind of my thing. It wasn't terrible for a first try. Now, time to cut a track. When do we get back to the long... New here, ain't you? The cosmic extraordinary is not linear. 
It moves around, wears disguises, loops itself in ribbons. I've never been in a real recording studio. Oh, made all kind of records here. Got a bootleg of the first drum. Now, why don't you play a few notes to give me some levels? A revelation! But I'm getting a, a little buzz in here. Like an audience unimpressed by a hackneyed magician. You getting that? No. Think you'll need a little mountain reverb. Hold on to something. Sure. W wait, what? What happened to these guys? Saw Glamagon. So spectacular they couldn't look away, poor bastards. A Glamorgon. Lightman jammed with a Glamorgon. Yeah, yeah, that's going back. The trick is you have to be more spectacular than the Glamorgon. I've got a Glamorgon of my own. We've all got Glamorgons, I suppose. But for this performance, you are the Glamagon. Promise me you'll play as if your dreams were now memories. And the wonders of reality were all within your reach. Wow. I'm not sure where it began or where it really ended. Exactly. You get it. 
It's always a thrill when someone gets it. I've never experienced anything like it. Maybe you're a little closer to finding the road you ought to be on. Out here, it feels easy, like, like I'm where I'm supposed to be. And that's good, isn't it? I don't think so. It's supposed to be hard, making serious stuff. It's supposed to be painful. If it comes easy, I feel like I'm not trying hard enough. You're a weird kid. If you remember anything, remember this. Your story is who you are. And once someone knows the road you're on, they cannot help but imagine where it leads. Thanks, Star Gordon. The way back to the Cosmic Lung, it's in the lake. Symphony. Hmm. We find you initially compelling, mildly spectacular, but no more than a fleck of glitter in the snow. No, that's not. And we must be entertained. Oh, we must be fed. Uh, I let up. Help! Your laser show reminds me of Lightman. Well then, let's dance.
fresh, undeniably. It is a gift, and one gift deserves another. Step into the light, and I shall project your image across the known universe. Whoa! The known universe? On every spectrum, station, and frequency, from the greatest metropolis to the smallest mountain town. Well, step into the light. That's pretty heavy. That's enormously heavy. You refuse. It's because, well, it's kind of complicated. Back home, I'm supposed to be insightful, someone serious. You're ashamed of what you have become. No. I don't know. I feel sorry for you, friend. I really do. For this decision may haunt your entire life.